Welcome. My name is Donna Kelly Williams, and I am the president of the Massachusetts Nurses Association. We developed this short video to share critical information about the ICU staffing law and its regulations. The Health Policy Commission, which developed these regulations, clearly said that staff nurses need to make up at least 50% of the hospital committee that's involved in developing an acuity tool. As a result, it is imperative that ICU nurses be actively involved in the selection and or development of an acuity tool for their unit. This five-minute video will provide you with the related information you need as an ICU nurse. The ICU law governs patient assignment limits for RNs in ICUs in acute care hospitals licensed by the Massachusetts Department of Public Health. The law is in effect now and has been in effect since September 28, 2014, and it applies to all acute care hospitals ICUs, both public and private, including NICUs, PICUs, CCUs, SICUs, MICUs, and burn units. At this time, the law applies only to patients who are occupying a bed in an ICU unless your contract language supersedes the law. The law requires that a staff nurse be assigned only one patient at a time. A staff nurse may be assigned two patients only if the staff nurses on the unit at the time agree that it is safe to do so. At no time should an ICU nurse be asked to care for more than two patients. This includes breaks and transport times off the unit. Nothing in the law prohibits the assignment of more than one staff nurse to an ICU patient. Any patient in an ICU is subject to this law, including patients who might be considered boarders. The m and recommends that you document your assessment of patient acuity in the patient record. Each intensive care unit is mandated by law to develop an acuity tool by the specific deadlines listed here. The acuity tool is truly the cornerstone of this new law. And because the development of the acuity tool will affect your working conditions, M&A hospitals have a responsibility to negotiate over the tool as well as committee member selection. As a result, M&A members have put a tremendous amount of time into developing sample ICU acuity tools that you and your colleagues can use in your committee work. Because the law clearly states each acute care hospital shall develop or select an acuity tool for each ICU. Three different acuity tool models are available for you to review, adapt, and use. The M&A strongly encourages you to utilize these models when you and your fellow nurses meet with management to develop your ICU's tool. Each model is specific to the patient population. The law also includes record keeping and reporting requirements. The effectiveness of the law will eventually be evaluated according to patient outcomes, which the Department of Public Health will monitor. Key points to remember as this process unfolds. Each bargaining unit needs to develop and implement a plan for distribution of information and member selection for the Acuity Tool Development Committee. The m and Nursing Department and your Labor Associate Director are available to provide resources and additional information. And lastly, the m and website has links to all the documents and forms discussed. The four outcomes listed here have been chosen by the Health Policy Commission for monitoring the effectiveness of improved staffing. The m and sees the ICU law as the first step in the process of securing safe staffing in all hospital units. Please join us at the State House on October 20th for a public hearing that will help us achieve this victory. If you have any questions, 
contact the MA at 800 882 2056 and ask for the Division of Nursing. Thank you.